Firstly, like as a user, a lot of people think that if I go for a sustainable dress or a pillow, it'll be more expensive. So whether it's worth the expense or are they expensive? See, generally sustainable products or the organic products are a little expensive as compared to the normal products. The reason being, how do I find out that the mattress I'm buying, even if I'm paying slightly more, is it genuine? Is it the right product for me? What are the ways a user can find out that whether it's organic and sustainable material without chemicals? That's a very intelligent question, keeping in mind today's marketing jargons, the age of digital media where people are freely promoting anything and everything. So, hi, you are at Sleep Talk with Quiet My name is Sandeep Kaushik and today we're going to touch upon a very interesting topic for which everybody in the world, the United Nations, the World Health Organization, everyone is talking about. Even after COVID, every individual is talking about, which is environmental impact, sustainability, organic usage, zero carbon footprint, and every industry is actually going through this churn. And today, we have a super expert from Quiet Mattresses, a company which is producing amazing power excellence Quiet Mattresses for the last 36 plus years and continue to innovate. The CEO of that company, Mr. Nirvay Gupta is with us. Welcome, Nirvay. Thanks, Sandeep, for having me. It's, I'm al always excited to be a part of your show. Great, looking forward. So, uh, as I just said that uh, we're talking about sustainability majorly and we talked about sustainable manufacturing, sustainable material usage, sustainable supply chain. And I think it's kind of become a buzzword in the whole industry everywhere. So, do you also think that the, the mattress industry is also focused on doing something on sustainability or is it something which might be done later? Absolutely. Mattress is already a part of the sustainability uh, movement that is going around in all these pairs, uh, all the products that we see around us. Uh -huh. In fact, you'll be amazed to know that mattresses was always a part. In fact, one of the uh, leaders in the sustainable world, I'll, I'll give you an example to uh, basically back this up. Uh -huh. So back in 60s, when no one was talking about sustainability or environmental friendly products, yeah, yeah. mattresses especially with the range of core mattresses were the first products that that were sustainable in, in in those times because of the quiet thing yeah because of the quiet thing because of the natural properties the raw material that goes inside the ah. end product everything is 100% natural True. organic yeah in fact Quiet mattresses started a journey with core mattresses only that represents in our brand name as well. Uh -huh. And uh, if I'll take your two minutes just to uh, elaborate a little bit on that, uh, it was my late grandfather that went to Japan back in 60s. Uh -huh. And he was amazed to know that core pads were being used there in railway coaches, in bus seats, in a lot of places. Uh -huh. He was always curious about mattress industry. He came back, innovated imported the machinery and started the core manufacturing plant in okay. 80s. Awesome. That's how the journey started. And we have been uh, working tirelessly to provide organic, environmental friendly and sustainable solutions to all our consumers. Not just rubberized square, but apart from that natural latex, uh -huh. even the grades of foam that we produce are very less toxic in terms of chemicals. Uh, the mattress ticking, the fabrics, the fibers, everything mm -hmm. we try and be carbon neutral or we try to bring in the uh, sustainable approach. So as, as, as a company and as an industry, the people are working towards sustainability. Well, that's absolutely good to know. Well, a lot of time people say this, that we talk about sustainability, sustainable product, organic product. Do we really need them? So in case of mattresses, especially when you're talking about mattresses, do you think that it will help in the longevity of the mattress or will help in the better sleep or more comfort uh, to the people? What do you really think about it? I mean, what exactly it is? See, in terms of mattresses, it will be a 10 on 10 for all the different spares that you just touched upon. Whether it is the longevity or the durability, yes, it is uh, more durable. Uh, I'll give you a little example. Uh, so, there are two kinds of products that can be produced. One is God-made, nature's uh, gift to us, and second is man-made. Yeah, yeah. No matter how much we try or how much we excel, uh, we can never try and replicate 100% natural properties of a God-made product. Mm -hmm. So, that is, that is very much evident in mattresses as well. So, whatever products are there with us, which are naturally cultivated, naturally processed, we will not no, never be able to basically mimic that part in the man-made products or the synthetic uh, 
natural product. is natural natural will remain natural yes. and uh, no one can uh, really change that true when it comes to the durability or the longevity part yes absolutely using sustainable materials using natural materials increases the lifespan of the mattresses you just have to have uh, have the you just have to have the right raw materials in place virgin quality raw materials in place uh-huh. right processes in place and then yeah, yeah, you will be able to make a fantastic product cool so also the fact that whenever we heard about the world organic or something which is more sustainable everybody has this conception that they are more expensive i mean the cost goes up so do you think uh, firstly like as a user a lot of people think that if i go for a sustainable say mattress or a pillow it will be more expensive so whether it's worth the expense or are they expensive Uh, so I'll answer it in two parts. First yeah. of all, coming to the the price part. Mm-hmm. See, generally it is uh, the the sustainable products or the organic products are a little expensive as compared to the normal products. The reason being they are uh, cultivated, they are made from the natural resources, uh-huh. and natural resources are always limited uh, in supply. True. So due to that reason, generally the cost goes up. Uh-huh. Then also it is a little bit difficult to process to convert them into the end product when it comes to the natural. Uh, raw materials because uh, there is a perishable cost involved there is a preservation that needs to be done so ultimately the process cost also goes high uh-huh. but not always so for example in terms of mattresses we use the latest technology we use the latest r&d that can be offered due to which we are able to take the benefit of economies of scale Uh-huh. now when we take benefit of economies of scale uh-huh. then we are able to control our production cost and we okay. are able to almost give it at the similar price as compared to the synthetic so products you want to say that industry is working towards getting it economical to the yes, end client yes, and that's yes. what you are working on great yes absolutely good but again the thing is authenticity i mean everybody is making it everybody is stamping it everybody is saying is organic and sustainable but as a end user how do i find out that the mattress i'm buying even if i'm paying slightly more uh firstly of course it's good for health but is it genuine is it is it the right product for me so what are the ways a user can find out that whether it's organic and sustainable material without chemicals that's a very intelligent question keeping in mind today's marketing jargons the age of digital media where people are freely promoting uh, anything and everything that's a very apt one so see today's consumer is very smart Uh-huh. They they have access to technology. They have access to data. Everyone has smartphone and economical data available in that. Yeah, yeah. So what I would like to suggest is that first of all, you need to research it right. You need to basically research the credibility of the company. Ah. Uh-huh. That how long the company has been into the business. Okay. Credibility of the product. That what exactly is going inside the product. Ah. Uh-huh. How credible is that? How natural is that? And thirdly, you need to. Uh, look at the reviews the ratings that are available online that are available through word of mouth okay. you can you can talk the to the people, people testimonials uh, testimonials yes yeah, okay. yes you need okay. to look into that in fact you will be amazed to know that we at quifit mattress uh, we have launched one of our campaigns known as the qr code tech which we enabled around 3 years back uh-huh. now the concept of the campaign is or the concept of the entire uh, this uh, service that we are providing is that on each and every mattress that we sell we put up a qr code on the basis of that qr code the customer at the point of sales just has to scan that uh-huh. and an audio visual clip of say 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes start uh, uh, playing on their screen which tells them clearly about the inside material the construction okay. the specs layer by layer of the in- inside core as well as the outside uh, fabric ticking and well, that's something they can do actually while buying as well yes, you know while they go to the showroom they can just click out and find out absolutely each and everything in detail see mattress is a covered product ha uh-huh. no one knows what is going inside so to do justice to our consumers to have transparency and to believe to have ethical practices with them we started this campaign and this is giving us good results but well, i've heard like in most of the products because i i work with a lot of people and a lot of different products i've heard that the certifications paid the more the most part like there's a lot of my uh, my friends are actually doing work with the european countries 
and there the certification is a must i mean they won't believe that's organic till you get the certificate so do you think in the mattress industry as well the certification is something which is very much required yes absolutely it is very much required though uh, we have very limited certifications in indian in terms of indian compliance we, uh -huh. we do have a few but very limited ones but we can always refer to the international certifications so it differs from product to product okay. so for example when we are talking about quar mattresses there are very good standards laid down by bis uh -huh. isi standards 8391 and all that okay so that is a very good uh, certification to look out for when you are buying a quar mattress similarly latex mattress which is considered to be 100% sustainable environmental friendly fantastic product then you can look for certifications like euro latex which is a european standard okay. you can look for certifications like gols uh -huh. similarly when we move for uh, say less toxic nature of foam then there is a standard known as certi per us okay. us compliance standard that is a standard that customers can look out for now the customers are coming in contact with the outside fabric first right yep. the inside core is more the experience whereas the outside fabric is which they are But directly like, touching the outside of the mattress is stamped like something like certified like we used to have iso certification earlier yes, yes. now for organic as you just said there's so many certifications there so if you have that that definitely makes it yes, yes. much more genuine for a outside user yeah so even for the outside fabric or the ticking which is which is the part which is in your direct contact uh -huh. for good 8 hours uh, you have certifications like ecotex okay. which is generally for textiles yeah. so people should look out for those these certifications to uh, safeguard their interest and to make the best decision great thank you so ladies and gentlemen listen to this buying a mattress is not just going and buying something for yourself it is actually become much much more and with sustainability coming up the prices are as he said is kind of going in the same way not too much of difference the comfort is something which is very much required so you need to choose the right one and you need to choose the right product for your sleep because that really matters sleep does matter so my last question to you today is do these sustainable mattresses are good for every age group or do you think like you require these kind of um sustainable products only in the early uh, early part of your life like the childhood uh, or the later part of your life like you know the senior citizens or do you think it's like good for everyone see ideally uh, it it is good for everyone it should be a good to have thing for everyone involved irrespective of the age bracket keeping in mind the current condition whether it is uh, uh, the heat wave which uh, currently uh, many countries are going through or whether it is the increasing pollution so everyone is vulnerable no one is uh, protected from it right yeah. but yes to prioritize i guess for seniors and for uh, children it is it is mandatory everyone should switch to organic solutions and for adults they should do in their check to do checklist they should they should okay. do it really soon yeah but well, it's not the top priority for them but they can yes, but, yes. but using it is definitely is good absolutely great thank you so much there bear so today we talked about sustainability the impact of sustainability the organic things in the mattress industry is good to hear that the mattress industry is already working with three decades back they started using quire and a lot of other stuff a lot of innovations are coming and do you think so much of hard work goes for a good sleep for you so thank you so much once again nirbha and uh, keep watching us and if you like please put in your comments give us a follow up and you will be listening and hearing much much more from us about your sleep so we are with sleep talk with quire fit Looking forward to see you again. Thank you so much. Absolutely my pleasure. Looking for a healthy planet for all of us ahead. Thank you. Thank you Nirbhay.